Hey everybody, Glucia here, bringing you another one of my Pokemon trading card game openings. Really excited about today, because I'm kind of kicking off a, a new idea that I had, although later on it's going to be a little different. But over on my TikTok, I do a lot of verses, where I do two packs, uh, and, I'll, and I'll open both of them, and then you comment and decide which one was the winner. So I'll open like a Vivid Voltage and like a Rebel Clash or whatever, you know, Shining Fates and Battle Styles. And then you pick the winner. And I wanted to do something similar, but in a larger format, obviously, for YouTube. So I have a lot of like collector boxes, like the Pikachus, which I'm currently using as my background. So you can kind of see little bits of them there. I have a ton of those types of boxes where it comes with like the big promo card and like four packs or seven packs if it's a larger set or whatever. And so I've been wanting to really start to open two of those at a time, but from different things like a Shining Fates one and a Champion's Path one or whatever. And then you guys can comment below and let me know which one you thought won. So, but today I'm actually kicking it off with something different because I bought something from Target that I was really excited to find because it's going to kick off a collection for me that I've not been able to kick off but i've really been wanting to so today we're going to do four packs of shining fates i've got four packs Ooh, right here ready to go versus bop, 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 hidden fates because i got this gyarados hidden fates tin see right there it says hidden fates i have not gotten my hands on any hidden fates yet since i started collecting pokemon cards again but obviously i've seen a lot of things for hidden fates in a lot of the videos that I watch and I've really been wanting to get into it and I found this at Target. This tin is one of three. There's also a Raichu and a Charizard uh, version of it. So hopefully I can find the other two to the tins because these are pretty cool. But yeah, Hidden Fates right in a retail store where you're not paying insane prices online. So I'm gonna open up this tin so that you guys can see the Gyarados card that's inside and then we're gonna open four Hidden Fates packs and verse the Shining Fates packs. Also, new to my channel, uh, at the beginning, the middle, and the end of every video, I'm gonna have a bonus code for you that has nothing to do with today's video. So the first bonus code is right here. It's a Unified Minds code for you. And then, usually what I'm gonna do is in the middle, the one that's in the middle is kinda hidden just somewhere randomly in the middle, that one's going to be a little bit special. That one's going to have something a little bit more to it than just like a pack, like the code that I just showed you. So get ready for that. It's in there somewhere. God, this lid is like on there. Holy heck. Oh, jeez. Okay. For once, whenever I open these bonus things, the card that's inside is always in a very questionable state. It's always bent or whatever. This is packaged really nicely. So the odds of this being bent are pretty slim. Let me carefully extract this here. It is like in there. Look at the back. See how the corners are like in there? This sucker's in there. So I need to, I think I'm gonna have to tear this a little bit to carefully get this card out. But they really, they, they definitely, took care to put that in there and there is a bonus tin in here for the hidden fates tin gyarados gx that should get you for those of you that play the game that should get you a guaranteed gyarados gx which obviously would be very nice to have for the game but there's that card and he looks sick and that is a promo card that's not part of any set or whatever so just a really nice promo card to have Definitely gonna look really nice in my collection. And then there's the four packs. And then that was it. There's no coin or anything like that, but that's fine. Not really a particularly a collector of coins. They all just kind of go inside. One of these, God, this lid. Like I can't even get it back on. So tight. So I think I'm gonna start off with the Shining Fates, but I'm gonna alternate back and forth. So Shining Fates, Hidden Fates, Shining Fates, Hidden Fates. I'm just gonna keep going back and forth between the two. I'm super excited. I always, I love Shining Fates. 
regardless. Always fun. And then I've never done the hidden face, and I've been really looking forward to getting that started. So looking forward to both of these. Team Yell Tower, Tropius, Coughing, Cacne, Glucifer, Snom, Trapinch. My reverse is a Tropius. And then a Delmize V. So I actually don't have that yet. I have multiple copies of the Delmize V Max. So I will take that. That's going to kick off. That's going to really help with my collection. Okay, although I have watched other people open some Hidden Fates things. Uh, they are new to me. So I may be going just slightly slower than normal because I really want to look at these arts because um, they are new to me. And they're so good. Look at this Chansey. Look how good the art is on this Chansey. God, like all the ones that I've seen from watching other people, like I, I just really felt like, like look at this Pikachu. Yes, I wanted this and it's like literally the first one I pulled. He's just frolicking in bubbles. Are you guys kidding me? Like how freaking cute. Magikarp, there's like a bunch of them in the background. These are great. The art on these are sick. Okay, my reverse is a Staryu. And then Brock's training, uh, Hollow. I'll take a, uh, a rare trainer card for my first rare pool. Okay, back to the Shining Fates. So far, I feel like Shining Fates has the lead, but maybe by a very slim margin. Because the Brock card, although it's not necessarily as special, is pretty cool. So if, if Shining Fates is winning, it's by a very, very thin margin. And it could lose that margin very quickly. Elder Gross is the reverse. And a Morpeko VMAX. Well, Shining Fates just took a big uppercut to Hidden Fates. I don't have this card yet. And this is definitely... One of the cards, of all the non-shiny cards that you can get out of Shining Fates, that's definitely one of the ones that I have really been looking for. It's funny because I was just about to say, like, that's two packs in a row of no Shining cards. I'm just getting reverses. Um, although at least the, you know, in the rever and they're not even, like, reverse rares. They're just reverses. But that more Peko VMAX definitely helped their chances. Okay, back to Hidden Fates. Okay, Hidden Fates, you have... Hidden Fates has to get caught up here, I think. I think they definitely fell behind a little bit with that one. Okay, we got a Charmeleon, so that's good. Magmar, Scyther, Clefairy, Psyduck, Ekans. God, even the Ekans, he's like just looking off at, the, at a rainbow in the distance. Like, are you kidding me? How freaking cute are these cards? Paris... Okay, so we got the reverse for Brock's training. So we have both versions of that already. And the Jesse and James, are you kidding me? Talk about coming back with a vengeance. Jesse and James, full art trainer. Wow. Wow. They just struck a huge blow i think that one card has a very serious chance of putting hidden fates right into the lead that is a huge pull for me i mean it's classic jesse and james like that's classic pokemon stuff and to get the full art of it right out the gate like that is pretty awesome Okay, Shining Fates, you just got clobbered. What is your response? Apparently, double pulls is your response. Horsey, Snom, Morpeko, Cacne, Choodle, Reverse Snom, and a Zeradu. Wow, what a dud. Shining Fates. If Hidden Fates can pull another good one out of this pack, Shining Fates is on the rope and is really going to need some help in that last pack, I feel. This is this this battle is getting 
has gotten so intense so quickly. I'm feeling it. I love opening... Like, every time I open Shining Fates, I always get, like, this really good feeling. Like, you're always pulling, like, really cool, fun stuff. Man, it's far-fetched. It's really into his league. But, um... The Hidden Fates is, like, exactly the same way. They just have this vibe that just makes them feel so special. And the cards that you're gonna pull are always... So, there we go. Shining, in K out of the Hidden Fates... <sighs> Hidden Fates just doing its job. And Erica's hospitality. So nothing crazy for the rare. But we got our first baby shiny out of either of them. Who oh boy. Shining Fates. This is your last chance. I feel like if there's not something... There has to be something in here. At least... Re we haven't gotten a shiny yet. We've gotten two pretty good cards, but both of them are good regular cards. A V and a V Max. I feel like for you to win a battle between the two shining packs of this generation and last generation, the two shiny sets, you have to have at least one shiny card. So, Shining Fate's on the ropes right now, looking bruised and bloody. Can we pull a shiny card out? Of our butts. Nope. Reverse rare, Marpeco, and Professor's Research. Wow. Wow, Shining Fates. Really not right. I usually have tremendously good luck with Shining Fates, too. Very underrepresented right now. No shiny cards. I mean, it was only four packs, so I, you know, but. Still, like, we got some good pulls right away with that Morpeko VMAX. I thought, okay, this is this is getting good. But then that Jesse and James, like, completely threw everything off. We have a Shiny, which we have not... We never pulled a Shiny out of Shining Fates, but we have one from Hidden Fates. Last Pack Magic... Pikachu Reverse, so I'll take that. It's not a shiny, but that is super cute, so I'll take it. And then a Butterfree. So nothing too crazy at the end of that. So it's not a complete knockout then, but I will say that. If you look at Shining Faces, two big cards, a Delmise V and a Morpeko V Max, and you compare that to the two big cards of Hidden Fates, the baby shiny, and then the Jesse and James full art. Seems pretty clear, but maybe you disagree. Comment below and let me know what you think. I was so intensely into that battle that I forgot to slip in my mid code. Today's mid code is a Shining Fates Mad Party pin collection for the Galarian Mr. Rhyme. So, a little bit of a special card there. Uh, and then I guess I should still throw at you the final card, which is another Unified Minds. Boom. I apologize that wasn't shoved somewhere in the middle like it's supposed to be. But that was an intense battle, and I was hyper-focused on it. Uh, that was awesome. That was really awesome. Yeah, comment below. Let me know what you think in terms of uh, who won out on that. Some of the regular cards, you know, there were some good regular rares and stuff in there, too, that could help Shining Fates edge out a little bit, but... Yeah, Hidden Fates definitely brought it today. So, thanks for watching, everybody. Um, if you're not already checking me out on TikTok, the link is down below where I do the single pack battles all the time of just one pack versus another. I've been having a lot of fun with those, and that's also where I'm posting a lot of my content for the hunt for Pokemon cards. When we open the packs, we hunt for cards, but we actually have to go out and hunt for the packs because of how crazy Pokemon is right now. So I post a lot of videos of me just going out to the stores, trying to find them. Where am I having success? Where am I not? So if you're into that kind of thing, you can find that over there as well. So thanks for watching, everybody. I appreciate the view and support as always, and I will see you next time.